Microsoft just released Office for iPad. We downloaded Word, Excel, and PowerPoint from the App Store, and this is what they look like. Microsoft Office has long been the productivity suite juggernaut on the desktop, and now it's trying to claim some new territory, the iPad. Since Office is also on the iPhone and the web, Apple users will now have an easy way to sync and work on Office documents across all of their devices. Microsoft does a good job of translating the apps for a tablet, too. They look clean and stylish, right at home on an iPad, but still distinctly part of Microsoft's family. Each app has a really similar interface, too, so it's easy to pick each of them up and move between them. On their editing screens, there's a brightly colored toolbar at the top, and then plenty of room for your document below. The toolbars each have a few different tabs that you can switch between, letting you view basic editing tools, layout options, review functions, and other features specific to the app. Everything is nice and big for the touch screen, too. All of your documents are set by default to automatically save to the cloud, though you'll of course be using Microsoft OneDrive, and OneDrive only. The good news is that Sync worked. Once you close out of a document on the iPad, it'll be updated and ready the next time you open it on the desktop or where anywhere else. Just make sure you have an internet connection, otherwise you'll be out of luck. Each of the apps is really polished and sleek. Where it does a great job of letting text, images, and shapes mix together on a page, Excel has a custom keyboard for punching in numbers and lets you build formulas just by tapping on cells, and PowerPoint still has more transitions than you could ever ask for. I'm not sure if you'll find every single one of their desktop counterparts options in here, but I was definitely able to find all the ones that I wanted. So the apps are good, but there's one potential deal breaker, and it's a big one. When you download the apps for free, you can only view them. If you want to create and edit anything, you'll have to pay. For the home edition, that's nearly $100 per year. That's a steep price to pay considering that Apple offers its own productivity suite for free. But overall, these apps are looking good, even though these are just our first impressions. You can download all three in the App Store right now.